Yes, sir. What is your uh, preference for reforming uh, tax policy? What, if you had your way, what would you see happen with the uh, taxes and federal taxation? What, how would I, uh, what is my belief on tax reform uh, if I had my way? Um, if I had my way, we would return to the way that the founders uh, received revenue. And that is uh, before the, before the uh, constitutional amendment mandating, uh, or allowing, I should say, the federal government to impose an income tax, we raised revenue through tariffs, duties, imposts, uh, and, and the like. And instead of borrowing money from China today, we would be charging China to have their duties come into America. Uh, that was the way that happened. Alexander Hamilton voiced a concern in the, one of the Federalist Papers, not a concern, just an observation, that after what the American people had been through with the war for independence and the tax system prior to that, that uh, they, they didn't believe at the time of the founding that the American people would ever permit themselves to take part in direct taxation. Well, we're there today. And so, there, so to return to that spirit of the founding, we would, we would uh, repeal the 16th Amendment and go back to that only constitutionally valid means of revenue raising under the Constitution at that time. Now that being said, uh, there's another mechanism that I think would be much better than an income tax, and that is the ability to Im impose a national retail sales tax. Once again, we'd have to get rid of the ability to tax income because we wouldn't want to, all of these different mechanisms to tax uh, individuals, uh, but but what we could do is, uh, uh, once again, if it's my perfect world, uh, we would repeal the 16th Amendment and put in its place the ability for a national retail sales tax, similar to what Indiana does. Whenever you whenever you go to the cash register in Indiana, you pay your taxes. So you tax uh, consumption instead of income. Yes, tax consumption. Yes, a consumption tax rather than a, a production we, tax. Which we, the taxpayers, can control. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. We call it freedom and, uh, and, and discretion. And, uh, and you would have that ability, correct. And, and that would be better uh, than what we, have, that we, that what we have today, I believe. And, and the issue is that I continually, I'm continually confronted with is, can we do that? Yes. We, the people, can do whatever you want, whatever you require of your elected officials. And so, the, we should, we should come to the point as a people to say we do not want this form of taxation, we want a new form of taxation, and we require you as our elected officials to get it done. And um, uh, short of even that, so we've got my perfect world of returning to duties, tariffs, and imposts, uh, a less than perfect world of a national retail sales tax where we would still be effectively directly taxed. And, but even short of that, uh, Congressman Dick Armey from Texas for years introduced legislation to repeal withholding. And after he left in 2003, I introduced that legislation to repeal withholding, to uh, get rid of a mandate on business, to withhold, and then Americans individually would be responsible for uh, remitting their taxes directly to the government. Right now, most Americans don't believe it's their money. They see it come out of their paycheck, it's just another line, and they never see it. I'll bet, and I'm not a betting person, but I'll bet that if we got rid of withholding, uh, there would be a lot more people at town hall meetings. <laughs> uh, because, because they would say, what are you doing with my money? Because they would realize it's their money. And you'd be sending it to Washington, D.C. <coughs> every month, or every week, or every two weeks, or whatever it is. We try to make it as painful as possible so that you would realize that you want to change, and, it, and it's your money. It's not the government's money. You have to consent, as uh, Jefferson spoke of in the Declaration. You have to consent to, to give it to government. And you would not want to consent to give it to government. You'd want government to stop doing some of the things it's doing that it's not authorized to do. And then you would want another way to do it. Why, what is it that the federal government needs to know about your children? That it has to know what, what type of estate you leave your children that you work your entire life for to pass down to them. That's not Uncle Sam's business. What about giving your children a gift if you want to give it a large amount? 
uh, when your daughter's married or when your son's married or some occasion? Why does the government need to know that you gave them a certain amount? And why do they need to confiscate part of that money that you've given your child as a gift? or a friend as a gift, whatever it is. Why does the government, it doesn't have to be. It only has to be because we as Americans believe that that's the way it's always been. And it hasn't been that way. It hasn't been that way. And so we need a vision as the country to say, this is what we want. We, we, want, we want more freedom. And we want more freedom even to, the, even to the extent that we don't have to file our taxes on April 15, or quarterly, or monthly, or whatever. And we're going to do it a different way. It's up to you folks. Well, it's all politicians don't listen to us. Politicians don't listen. Well, I I, I would agree with that. I would agree with the current that. Current ones anyway. So um, so you need to change that. You need to change them. You need to change them. They're trying hard on its health care bill to see what happened. Yes. The, the Democrats went further. It just energized them to get it done. Yes. Until the time that we go back to tariffs and the like. Um, is there a chance to even give back some of that authority to the states? It, you mentioned the, the Department of Education, but, but you know, wrote the highways and, and uh, what would you say, Medicaid and, yes. and some of Is there a, a realistic chance to, to do that? Um, I, that would be sweet. Uh, is there a realistic it, chance? Yeah. That's a great question. What, what can't we do as Americans? You, we've repealed constitutional amendments. We've amended. We, we've changed how we elect senators. We changed how we elect vice presidents. We we decided not to disallow the, the consumption of commerce and in alcohol. We Americans, you can do whatever it is you want to do, and and, and so I, I think I think there that we can. Now you brought up an interesting point in that there are two uh, discussions that we need to have. One is how do we tax, and the second is how much revenue do we need to run the federal government as the federal government. It is ultimately brought within its constitutional constraints. They're really two different discussions. They're two vitally important discussions, but they're, they're discussions that need to be, uh, probably need to be held uh, in parallel, simultaneously, because uh, uh, it's likely that if, well, not likely, it's, it's, it's uh, definite that if we return the federal government to within its constitutional constraints, that the, the amount of revenue necessary to run that federal government will be significantly lower. And, uh, and then we can go back to tariffs, duties, and imposts, whereby we uh, receive money as a result of, that we did uh, in the past and, and received, uh, rev had revenue houses at the, at the various uh, ports of entry and the like coming into, uh, into, the, into the United States, uh, airports and seaports and land ports whereby the tariffs would be uh, would be assessed when those goods come into the into the country and and you say well how would we how would we raise 3.8 trillion dollars from duties tariffs and imports once again that's a different discussion do we really need 3.8 trillion dollars of revenue if we're doing only those things that the constitution grants us the authority to do well no we're not and so uh, there's two different discussions uh, they can be held simultaneously, and then ultimately, what what can we do? It's all possible. It's all possible.